In this video, I'm going to check out a digital microscope that was sent to me by banggood.com to evaluate. So we're gonna open this thing up, unbox it. I'm gonna set it up and we're gonna inspect some micro circuitry. Well, some SMD circuitry anyway, right? Let's take a look at it and see how it performs. Hmm. It's got a plug adapter. Must have a European plug on it. What do we got here? And it came from banggood.com. It looks like we have a microscope, a digital microscope. Let's just uh, check this out. So, it's a 600 times portable LCD digital microscope. Something I've always wanted. We'll unbox it and there it is and it's got a a suction cup base which won't do me much good because my my desk is uh, it's not uh, something you can stick a suction cup on but we'll put the the bracket on there I guess you can adjust it. I guess I'll have to find something to stick this thing to in order to test it because it's kind of heavy. There's the, the camera here. And it looks like it's got an SD slot. So I take it that you can record what you're looking at. And uh, should be an adapter in here somewhere. There's the adapter. It's just standard USB power. I would imagine I can use any USB power supply. I don't have to use this thing with this adapter, but I could. Got a USB cable. Nothing in the bottom. Nope, nothing in the bottom. Let's get rid of the box. I'll have to figure out something to stick this to. As I say, it's not going to stick to a, a wooden desk like this. So I'll have to uh, stick it, oh, I know what I can stick, probably stick it to this power supply box or something, right? Be able to stick it to something like that. I'm sure that's the focus control. Let's power it up and uh, see what it does. Okay, so I've got the unit plugged in and turned on. I'm just going to lower my camera down a bit so we can get a better a better view from the uh, the actual screen because my camera's off the, the prime viewing plane. The thing is this microscope is that the camera is fixed so you have to adjust it for your you know for what you want to to take a picture of and it's an LCD screen so if you're off axis it's not uh, off axis it's not going to look as good but if you're looking at something square on with it with it over top, looking straight down, it actually gives you a fairly good view. Okay, we look on the side. There's an SD card slot. We can put an SD card into it like that. This is a brightness control for the light. If you turn it on, it does have an illuminator here, and you can adjust the brightness of the LEDs so that if you're overexposing you can turn it down so I'll just position it back over top of my the work that I want to see here we'll crank up the brightness I'd like to inspect these connections on this IC here unfortunately it does not have it does not have a zoom lens you can zoom in it does have a digital zoom control. I can go two times and four times. And I should be able to record on this by pressing a button. Is it the OK button? There we go. It's now recording in 1080p. So if I adjust my focus. way I can inspect solder connections and stuff.
this has got a lot of flux around here. Let's just clean off this board a bit. See whether I can uh, get a better shot of this. I'm actually I'm actually side illuminating it with a different light because when you're looking at things like this, if you light them up differently, sometimes you get a better a better view than lighting it directly overhead. When I turn on the lights overhead here, it uh, doesn't seem to be as clear. But if I throw some extra light in on the side here, I'll zoom in a bit here and see whether that connection looks any good. A couple of the ones here, a couple of these connections look like they might be. Suspect. I'm going to redo them and just see whether that will fix this clock. So say the clock works, but what I noticed was when it uh, when the seconds get up to 60, I would expect that the num the minute would change, but they don't. Let's just see how this works for trying to solder something that looks kind of questionable. So I've got the the unit on there now. Let's just see how how, how easy it is to solder. Looking at a screen instead of through a magnifying glass. So there you have it, that's the Must Tool G600 Digital Portable 1 to 600 times 3.5 megapixel microscope. And um, so I've just done some preliminary testing with it. It looks to be pretty good. The re recording resolution, as I put on the title there, only appears to be 720 by or 1280 by 720. Still, it's it's good enough, you know, to see some if you're inspecting solder connections and stuff, as you can see. The picture quality is not bad and for the price around $52 something like that at the time that this was purchased I think it's you know a pretty darn good product 
for what it costs. You know, it's, it's not a it's not a professional inspection microscope by any means, but it also isn't costing hundreds or thousands of dollars. This is a budget unit that for most people will probably be good enough for, for certainly for hobby use. So I think I have to give this one a thumbs up and I'm sure I will be using it in future videos. Not a bad little unit at all. Thanks for watching and we'll uh, catch you again uh, real soon.